And if you saw at issue last night, you heard Chantal Hébert talking about people crowded around a TV in the airport watching Question Period. The Senate story is clearly engaging Canadians. But what do they think of it all? Cameron McIntosh has that part of the story. We set out to see how people are feeling, to get their gut reactions. So we gave them something to react to. A simple sign, an invitation. It sure didn't take long. You pulled over your car into a loading zone Absolutely. and you came right to us. So Absolutely. Clearly this has struck a nerve with you. For Carl Habeck, the whole Senate lacks credibility. How can you have a chamber of sober second thought about democracy when the Senate's not even democratically appointed? Have you been following the scandal? Oh yeah, it's like a, it's everywhere it's like a soup opera. And Norman Tuhart says he can't believe the Prime Minister knew nothing. There's no truth and honesty in there. Well, do you think any of them are telling the truth? None of them are. We set up in the heart of a conservative Winnipeg riding. Yes, holding a sign invites weird looks and plenty of people just walk by. But the longer we stayed, the more we heard. Plenty of anger, much of it directed at the Prime Minister. Lying to us isn't gonna do anything good. Are you convinced he's lying? Well, I mean, if they're, if they're offering backward deals to people to say one thing when something else actually happened, that is lying. The senators aren't getting off easy either. Duffy and Pamela Wallen, you know, you put your trust out to these people. You see them on TV 24-7 for your lifetime, and it turns out that they snipe all the Canadian people. Can't trust anybody, can you? I would like to see a Senate reform. Now, I wasn't the only one out doing this. We sent out reporters with signs in other cities too. In Vancouver... It has completely changed my opinion in the Senate. I don't think there should be a Senate anymore. And of course, in Montreal, signs in both languages. I can't tell if they're not, you know, throwing a little too much oil on the fire or if it's, if it's legitimate. All around, plenty of disappointment, plenty of doubt. On a big question, many saying the same thing as Havoc. So, is this going to influence how you vote, do you think? I'm just going to wait and see what everybody else has to say. Just waiting to see if anyone can come out of this looking good. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Winnipeg.